Hey guys, this is Jackson and in today's video I'm going to show you how to edit my asset pack, the Multiplayer Endless Random Worlds with Biomes pack, um, and show you how to make it so that it produces a finite sized world rather than an endless world. This seems to be a common request and it's quite a simple thing to do so I thought I'd just show you how to do it. Um, I've just created a copy of the Endless World component, the latest version, so you download that from your um, Gumroad library and then I'm just going to open that up here and I'll show you how to edit it. Um, basically what you want to do is you just, before a new level is spawned, they each have a coordinate, a position on the X, the Y, and the Z in the form of an integer vector. And basically you just want to check that the level that's about to be generated is within a predefined grid size if you want it to be um, finite, otherwise don't spawn the world. Um, so. The way to do that is if you go Endless World, um, let's just open up one of the demos. I'm going to go to the starter content demo just so we can just see that it's working and whatever. So here it is. Let's say we want to fix this to like a 3x3 three three size grid or something rather than being able to run through it endlessly. Um, the way that you would do that is go to Endless World Blueprints. Um, I think it's BPC Endless World Component. Um, you want to go to create a load level instance, I think. Um, yeah, so here's the create level function. Um, create a load level instance. So basically all you need to do is this function is being called whenever a new level is being requested to be created or loaded. So what we'll do is we'll get these coordinates, we'll break them, and we'll see is x um, can I use like a bounds uh, range within range or something? Yeah, in range, um, and then you can just define the bounds here. So if we say negative three and three, inclusive, min, inclusive, max, blah blah blah. Um, we can do one for the Y as well, and then if both of these conditions are true, so and, then you want to go ahead and spawn the level. So basically if this function gets called and the coordinates of the level is not inside of these, both of these, then that's just going to return false and no level will actually be spawned. So fix the map size fixes in to make it finite. So let's give that a test. Um, does this even work in simulate? Maybe not. Maybe I have to have a player in the game. Yeah, so you can see now that's fixed it to a 3x3. Three three, not a 3x3 three three grid, but um, I think a 7x7 seven seven grid because it's negative 3 up to 0 and then positive 3 on the other side. And so, oh yeah, we've got some, we've got some errors here. Um, so to stop that error from occurring, basically it's trying to unload a level that doesn't exist when you move outside of those ranges. So when it's getting the level, you'll just add a is valid check here. And this should probably stop that from throwing errors. So if I close that now, um, get rid of those error screens. Yeah. Well, you can see that it's working anyway. Um, you still get your biomes and everything like that, and if I close that, then there's no more errors. So what you could do is you could promote those to a variable as well. So inside of the create or load level instance tab, you could promote these out to a variable and then edit them however you want um, to produce whatever map size that you want. So I hope that's helpful. Um, this is an endless world pack, um, so it does generate endlessly, but if you wanted, a fixed, you wanted to produce a fixed size map for multiplayer map games or whatever, um, that's how you do it. There will be a link to downloading this asset pack in the description so that you can download it and make these changes if that's what you want or to use it endlessly. Thank you and goodbye. Okay, so one more thing. Um, I just realized that I did that edit in the early versions of the pack but not in the most recent version. So now I've got the most recent version of the pack um, open inside the editor which is uh, this one here done on the 25th of March I believe um, and so to edit that one it's exactly the same thing except the function just looks different the create and load level instance function it'll look like this 
with all this stuff here um, rather than the last one and this is where you'll need to add the finite level check. You just add it in the front like that but otherwise it's basically the same. Alright, bye.